Hey Badminton community, it's Henry and Jeff here from Volant and the Badminton Podcast. So Jeff, what are we talking about today? I've got a quote for you, Henry. Oh yeah? Who said this? It's not like I am so great that I don't need a coach or I don't have anyone to teach me. Everybody has something I can learn from. This method works best for me and God is my coach. Mm, none other than the big man himself. Cho Chen Chen, Chinese Taipei. Um, so who is he? He is a right-handed um, Chinese Taipei, Ta- Taipei uh, badminton player, men's singles, mm-hmm. 1.8 meters tall and is 31 years of age. At the time of recording, so right now, his highest ranking was number two in the world and mm. he's currently number four in the world. Yeah. So he's had some pretty spectacular achievements, right? Yeah, yeah, he has. And for those who don't know, he uh, since not having a coach, we're talking, we're going to be talking about him, you know his coaching um, side of things. But since not having a coach in 2019, he won the Indonesia Open. Uh, he also won the Thailand Open, uh, the Chinese Taipei Open, uh, and runners up uh, for the China Open. And then 2020, All mm. England. Um, runners up yep and 2021 French Open runners up as well which is just recently yeah so what what happened like I guess everyone usually starts out it with a coach and mm. then you see everyone on the world tour and usually they will have a coach especially from the larger countries or some of the smaller countries that don't have have as much funding right sometimes the players have to mm. travel by themselves but usually we do see a coach but yeah, after- certainly in the they're like the, the most what, what we see as an optimal optimal professional scenario generally mm. is that they would be yeah. with a coach, right? And at number two in the world, or former number two and current number four in the world, you expect them to have a whole team around them, right? Mm, to, exactly. to get them to performance, like an Axelson who has heaps around them. Mm. Um, but parting with his coach 2019, he's now got his physiotherapist now, Victoria Cow, mm. kind of filling that role of mentor slash physio slash cheerleader support crew yeah and then after 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 not having a coach he he made the breakthroughs right he, yeah, exactly. he won in 2019 that super 1000 title in indonesia he beat lindan jonathan christie and anders anderson yeah. in the in on the, the road way. to the yeah. on the road to to the win there but it was, it's, it's interesting to say because we've read a few articles and heard a little bit about the situation right and mm. he said that victoria's main job is to maintain his health and character. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting because when you look at competition, right, you think mm. of, oh, I think competition, you, the coach has kind of two different roles, right? Yeah. The first is like the game analysis, strategy, tactical role. And then there's the kind of the, the emotional support, the kind of the encouragement, the, the mental stuff, right? Mm. Um, and I think Victoria feels that well. So I think Victoria as a physio, so she'll take care of the body. She'd make sure that he's, he's well, massaged and injury mm. free and rehab and all that stuff um, then it sounds like you can hear on the back of the court right like she's like screaming and stuff when, when he wins that points. cheerleader so role right that cheerleader yeah. role that emotional role so yeah. i think that um kind of like maybe a motherly figure that's kind of taking care of him and maybe that's how we hear how he he plays well and feels safe and feels comfortable to play mm. but the, I'm, I'm thinking like what that tactical or great game strategy role it, it could be a little bit missing yeah, I think I think that's the case. But we do know that Cho Ten Chen, before he goes into a lot of these matches, he does a you know deep dive analysis on a lot of these plays. So he goes in with you know a particular type of strategy, mm. tactics ready to go. Yeah, it's just that but the, de- the de- degree of flexibility and and the ability to change tactics within the game. I think that's where the coach may play a role. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's what we've kind of commented about his game. Like he's a physical specimen, right? Mm. Like his his legs are so strong so big so strong he's fast he's powerful like he's so fit he's just like the epitome of kind of stature like he's 1.8 meters tall he's not that tall right but he's yeah he's just really good athletic build right yeah and i guess one of if we can call the criticism where we're Mm. quite harsh it's easy to just look out and say this person's not good at this or that but Mm. probably one of them for me is that he brings the same game to every match there's not that much adaptation it's just kind of long Mm. fast attack but just keep it going and there's not that much there i think that maybe another perspective like like with a coach could actually help yeah, I think so. I, I guess on your point of being a physical specimen, maybe it's because all the all the all the belly dancing that he does on the side as well, <laughs> and the yoga and the Pilates yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I think you're right in that 
you know, because he does bring a very similar game all the time, it can be exploited by players who do have that ability to mm. change their game strategy. Because yeah. a lot of the time it does work, um, but you see him playing players that you know aren't you know aren't in the top you know, top ten, top twenty. All of a sudden, um, either beat him. Yeah, they can um, get come close to him, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because they've come into a game and they've been able to adapt and change. Whereas we feel that. You know, well, I feel that a lot of the times it just ma he maintains the yeah, same. Just like autopilot, yeah. right? Each, mm. each time, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But he did. He did say, like, he, he did say that he, like, a coach might give him something to adjust. But he mm. he he struggles a little bit to to take it on board if he doesn't agree. Yeah. So that's probably maybe it's easier for him to be his own instructor because even if the coach came in. Mm. and gave him a bit different perspective. If he doesn't agree with it, maybe there's a bit of an internal battle. Do I listen to the coach or listen to me? And maybe it's... Yeah, and it yeah. makes things worse for yeah. him as well. Yeah. And I think at 31 years, years old at the time of recording, right, it, it is later in his career. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, uh, obviously he made a change re relatively recently. Uh, would he consider changing back? Um, mm. Given that he has produced some really great results since then as well. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe he's also... I feel that that's around the time where he started to get a lot more vocal as well. I'm not sure if you noticed, like when he when he won that, when Victoria's at the at the back of the court, I feel mm. he's a lot more vocal and screams a lot, a lot more. Yeah. So maybe he feels like he can be more of himself. This is yeah. just total speculation, but but uh, yeah. Yeah, I think at times uh, prior to you know him going out on his own path, he hasn't. He hasn't had that fire within him, mm. um, but then yeah, uh, since then you, you, know, you see him just you know, raid, you know, doing this roar after after certain big points or when he does win as yeah. well. So you yeah. can see that 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 emotional strength is there. I would call it like a strength uh, rather than you know he's actually letting it all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so from that sense, I think that he has definitely developed. Um, but yeah, I think that yeah, where where the opportunity is for him, and maybe he does get this outside of the competition. Competition, right? Yeah. Um, it's just that different perspective that will allow him to hopefully be a bit more dynamic uh, in the game and, and flexible in. Yeah. The, be able to change tactics. game strategy according to what's happening, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah, which I do feel is a bit lacking. So, I guess overall, if I was going to say should he get a coach or not, it is hard because obviously he's doing what he thinks is best for him. But from yeah. an outside perspective, I would say maybe. Yes, but then maybe a coach that is maybe a little bit more because there's different types of coaching, right? Mm. There's kind of like the the coaches that just tell you what to do and you just listen and that's it. You don't really talk back to them. You don't really provide your input. You're just like, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. And then there's different coaches, especially like say more European style coaches. As a general rule, there would be a bit more like, hey, what do you think? I mm. think this and kind of it's a combination of strategies. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what if? I, I'm not sure how good. I know Cho Chen can speak English, but maybe it's a bit tricky with language barrier. But what mm. if there was a way to have kind of a maybe a European coaching style, a little bit that's going to help him to kind of crack down a little bit on the strategy side mm. and specifics, but then also take his opinion on board and not to say, no, do it this way. Yeah. And maybe that will be easier for him to kind of adapt and then hopefully it would bring like a that other element into his game, right? His adaptation. Because I don't think there's any doubt he can execute. Mm. Anything. It's just whether the mindset or whether the game plan is clear enough for him to actually execute. Because technically and tactic, like he can move, he can get everywhere. Like there's no reason why he couldn't do it. I think. Yeah. Look, I think so from my perspective, he's obviously made a good decision in, mm. in taking his own path, and it seems to have worked for yeah, him. Yeah, but yeah. is 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 there another step up that he can take it to, um, to achieve those consistent results? And, and not every you know every now and again he does play a player where you expect him to win, and yeah. he doesn't. Yeah. Um, so whether he yeah needs that more collaborative type of coaching, but mm. at the same time it's like he is already very successful. Yeah. Is it worth willing to change that up right right now as well? I, I think so. I, I know where you're coming from, but I mm. think so because he's he, like he is world's best, but I wouldn't say he is the best. Mm. Um, and just based on okay, world ranking, he hasn't mm. been number one in the world, which number two is still phenomenal. It's amazing. But yeah. but in terms of yeah, that level of consistency in, in playing and uh, adaptation, like you just. Like when you see Victor walk on court, Axelson for example, mm. you kind of know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get an intense, mm. focused, game strategy kind of focused 
player on court. But like you said, with Cho Tian Chen, like sometimes you can think, oh, what, what's happening? Like, where is he? Like, yeah. what, what's, what's actually going on? Yeah. So I think that maybe the, the coach could help to get that yeah. focus in maybe. Really develop that level of flexibility. But yeah, I but don't I know. think maybe I Victoria think... at the back as well, because you've mm. had two coaches, right? So yeah. Victoria there being the cheerleader, and then maybe a, a coach that's a bit more tactical that that is maybe has a high emotional intelligence that when he goes and talks him to the mid game interval or between sets, it's kind of like he can feel what he's feeling. So he'll mm. know, okay, I should give lots of information out or I should just shut up mm. and just let Victoria kind of just support him in that way. Uh, I think that could, I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, but I think maybe there, there, is a, there is a potential for a test and, and learn for, for this kind of coaching style, just to mm. see how he performs there. And look, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But look, that's just us talking, right? We yeah, don't know yeah. what he's gonna do and yep. yeah. So, so what would you suggest, Henry? Like, what would you say? I think what's working for him now works, mm -hmm. but I, I think that he doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, need a coach to develop that flexibility or you know dynamic nature when he's at the competition. I think perhaps outside of that, he can learn to adapt and change um, when he does go into the competitions. But it is going to be a hard thing for him to do without someone, you know, telling him to do it. But at the same time, if there is someone there telling him to do it, is that going to mess up his, you know, his trajectory? Because that's just not who Cho Tian Chen is. Yeah. He performs well because he's already decided how he's going to play mm. before he goes to the competition. Yeah. Um, and maybe changing that up will just send him backwards. Okay, so that's a no, right? It is. So a, no. It is. A, it is a no. I'm going to yeah. say yes, he should, mm. but with that kind of grain of salt that. It should be trialing. It should be trialing sure. a coach for a certain period of time and being like really um, setting expectations from the start and saying, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is like, if I say no, mm. then that's still okay. It's, there's no emotion involved, involved and stuff like that. Um, but I think I'd love to see him try. Yeah, I'd love to see him try with Victoria and another coach and see what he can do. Cause I think that it could kind of maybe bring him up a bit there. Yeah, look, yeah. I'd, I'd love to see that as well. Um, yeah. Just even though I don't agree, like I get where you're coming from and I, and I would love to see him test and learn that and just see what happens because there's no risk involved really if he does does attempt something like yeah, that. Yeah, because I guess if the coach is there and he tells him something, he can, like, he should have the permission of the coach to kind of say no. Like the mm. coach needs to be okay for him to say no, I, I don't think that's good and the mm. coach can't get offended. Um, and then, yeah, and then maybe that flexibility will help him and then maybe it will work. So yeah, that's maybe, maybe, maybe. But, but look, these are just our thoughts, everyone. Um, we're really keen to hear what you think. Do you think Cho Tian Chen, or any any other player to, to that fact, right? Mm. Do you think Cho Tian Chen should have a coach at competitions or not? Comment below. We're looking forward to seeing the responses and we will catch you on the next video. Bye. Bye.